In the Kitchen with WSLS 10 News, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Built smart, built right. We're here in the outdoor FNS kitchen today making a delicious tree. I'm here with Carmen George from Hallwa Bakery in Blacksburg, and you're going to show us how to make a Middle Eastern bread pudding. Yes. It looks great. Thanks Thank for being you. here today. Thank you for having me, Rachel. Yeah. Thank you. So where do we start? This looks fabulous. Okay, this is uh, called Middle Eastern bread pudding, and we usually make it with a puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if you have a leftover croissant, so you cut into pieces yeah. and you do it. But I prefer the puff pastry. This is so good. Okay. After you bake, you let it cool and you start cutting into small pieces. It's all nuts and sugar and milk. That's all. Oh, so easy. you bake it and you eat it. Oh, <laughs> easy. It's, just... it's so easy. That's really easy. After oh. you cut the puff pastry like this, mm -hmm. okay, I use whatever nuts you want to use, but mm -hmm. that's the nuts I usually use it. Okay. So this is almond. Okay. As you see, I'm putting like the half and I save the other half on the top. Okay. And this is crushed pistachios, mm. raisins. I use cranberries. I like it because a little tart. Yeah. And a little bit of coconut. And you mix it all together. And this is cinnamon, ginger, and pumpkin spice. Mmm. You make it all together. Okay. And I bake it today mm -hmm. in this glass to let you see the layers, uh -huh. you know, what it looks like. But yes. usually we use this. This is called um, tagine. tagine. So it's made from the clay. So it gives this, oh, you wow. know, tradition flavor for some baking and savory dishes. So I like to show it, like, you know, that's why we bake it. Uh huh. So this also is something we could, we could do this as well at home we, in a, in a pot that we You can do this, you can do in barracks, you can do whatever, just like you can. But this is like a tradition Arabic, you oh, know, I looking. Love so that. that's why I like it. That's beautiful. Yeah, and then this is you're gonna bake it, okay? Uh -huh. But if you require it to be like, you know, a warm milk, and you're welcome to use any kind of milk if you're dairy free, but usually we bake it with milk and heavy cream. So this okay. is half and half. Okay. the ratio between the milk and heavy cream. Okay. So you warm it, you add also the sugar, whatever. Okay. If you want it sweet, you add more. If you want it less sweet, you add less. Okay. You dissolve it. And then you pour it all over. Oh, that you looks good. You don't need more than this. You don't want to be like soapy, like, you know, no. Oh, wow. And on the top, you sprinkle with the rest of the nuts. And you bake it at 350 degrees for about like 15 minutes until okay. you see it like bubbly. Mm -hmm. And you eat it warm or you want to eat it like cold, whatever. But oh. you prefer to eat it warm with that scoop of ice cream. You yes. welcome to have it. You made that look really, really easy <laughs> for us. And it, it just is turns dish. out so beautiful and too. And it's good for fall, it's good for winter, mm -hmm. even summer. Oh, okay. I can't wait to try yeah. this, especially the coconut, too. It's coconut. I love coconut. The coconut and yeah. pistachios. Yeah. That's what I love about your recipes. So let's give it a try. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll have more step-by-step -step instructions on our website at WSLS.com. And make sure you check it out at Hallwood Bakery in Blacksburg.